Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Happy Sunday. I am joined by the Tim Tracker and the Gen Tracker, and we are focusing our, our I, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. We are focusing our eyes on something that is not yet open, but we are about to go inside a little pre-excitement here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Hollywood. Not Florida. You guys are on uncharted ground right now. Right. And we're about to go into, what is this called? <laughs> this is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade Village. Awesome. Here we go. See, I should have been more knowledgeable of what was actually the name of this. I, I just call it Harry Potter Land. Right. We like is to call it Harry Ploppers. Harry, do you call it Harry Ploppers? We do. It's from the Simpsons. Oh, yeah. no. Harry Ploppers is it. the pig, spider pig. Simpsons <laughs> area is right over there. In fact, we just had lunch at the Simpsons area. We what just was ate the name Krusty of the Burgers. Krusty Burger. See, I should know more about Universal. Oh, you guys okay. know a lot more about Universal than I do. This is like Bizarro Universal for us. Yeah, though. this is like Twilight Zone, version. right? We have not been inside here yet, so I'm going to get my initial reactions. I'm going to try to let you get a word in edgewise because you're going to be filming for the Tim Tracker yes. channel. So I'll kind of roam around. Maybe I'll ask Jen a couple questions here and there, and I'll kind of just do my own thing, and then I'll pop in your vlog and out of my vlog. But this is Hogsmeade Universal Studios Hollywood, the wizarding world of Harry Potter. And it doesn't technically open until April 7th, 2016 so it's still gosh nearly a month away from the actual grand opening celebration but this is what they call a soft opening and when we got here early we got here around 9 a.m. it was not open yet they had not opened the gates to the Harry Potter section quite yet so let's go underneath let's go underneath this archway and go inside of Hogsmeade. And look at this massive train here, the Hogwarts Express, or Hogwarts Express. I guess you could say it. I guess technically it would be called Hogwarts Express. And it's busting through that wall right over there. This place is awesome. Look at it. The theming here is absolutely incredible. Here we have a shop. Jokes, tricks, toys, and games. Zonkos. This is called Zonkos. And look at this majestic view straight ahead. This view is incredible. Now, of course, I go to Disney quite often. I've been to Universal a few times, and I've been to the Harry Potter area in Florida before Diagon Alley actually opened, but I have not been to this since they unveiled the pre, the pre-opening. This is awesome. Here is the butter beer stand. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. But I've heard that the butter beer is actually super, super good. So at some point, while I am wandering around with Tim and Gin Tracker, we're probably going to get a butter beer from this huge, huge barrel of butter beer. I think there's an attraction inside of this right here. Here is a ride of some sort right inside of there. This is all a totally mind-blowing experience for me. I do not know what I am witnessing and looking at. This is all totally new to me. I am looking upon this with fresh newbie eyes if you will very cool the theme in here is awesome is that harry potter is that harry potter himself right there wow i did not know we were going to be graced with people dressed up as the characters cosplay i guess they call it disney has their disney bounding i don't know what universal bounding would be but just take a look at what I am experiencing now. This is awesome. Here is like a little restaurant area. Right in here, a little seating area. Over here is a massive line leading into that attraction. I don't know what's around the corner. Let's see what's actually around the corner. Here we have dogweed and death cap, exotic plants and flowers. Here are the restrooms, public conveniences. 
They are calling it. This is incredible. This is like an all immersive land. And it doesn't even open for a couple of weeks from now. So it's very cool that I just so happened to be here today and was actually able to walk through this. It's incredible. And I'm talking a whole lot because there is music, probably copyrighted music. And I'm trying not to get the video flagged, so I'm obviously talking over the music. So I apologize if I'm rambling too much or talking too much. I'm just trying to negate the music that's blaring in the background. Look. So there's the view from this angle. Look at that. Wow. This is incredible. Look at that. Look at this freaking huge, epic looking structure, this epic looking castle right here. Holy cow. And there's some sort of wild boars with wings there, some kind of wild boars. There's only a 15 minute wait right now for Harry Potter and the Forbidden That's good, Journey. we should do that. We should so do are it. these wild boars that are bearing angels wings? Okay, you're being summoning over. Now, is that Harry Potter himself summoning no. you over? I don't think so. I don't think so. I saw another guy looking like... You know what's unusual about here? There's no Disney bounding here. This is right. not Disney. Is there such thing as universal bounding? Yeah. I yeah. think so. I think they also have selfish sticks here. They yeah. do. People will universal bound at our, at our universal as Bill Paxton. Hi. Like, I'm all Bill the time. Paxton. Yeah. All, all jeans, all the time. It's so what awesome. do you think of this? What is your this is review so compared to... Orlando's version. I will say that I think this will be much better once all of the, because I think they're supposed to get a, a, a coaster as well. Like, we're missing the coaster at the front. And it doesn't have Diagon Alley here yet, right? But I think they're going to get Maybe, it. Maybe, possibly. I, so. I heard rumors. We, we wrote The Mummy earlier. Yes. People were saying they're going to remove The Mummy from Universal Hollywood, which is weird because it's at the bottom of the mountain, and this is all at the top yeah. of the mountain. So I don't know how that will work. I guess we're going to ride. We're going to ride well, something. What do you think? When you saw the castle reveal, what was your initial... The re castle reveal kind of like blew my mind yeah. a little bit. I, of course, you, am used to like Cinderella's castle or Sleeping Beauty castle. This is a little bit more medieval looking, a little darker. I must confess, I've never seen any of the Harry Potter films. So now I need to actually go back and watch them. I did ride this in Orlando when it opened, though, pre-Diagon Alley. And I remember it being very awesome. This one is, you're going to be wearing 3D glasses. What do you think oh, about that? So I can't wear these glasses? You could. Oh, Jeff Heimbuck? So have you written this I yet? I just got off of it, dude. So give me your review. This is Jeff Heimbuck. Hi, he just everyone. randomly happened to be here. What, a what is your review? I liked it. I really enjoyed this version compared to the Florida one, honestly. Okay, because the Tim Tracker and Gen Tracker are from Florida. Did they? And they have yet to ride this. Oh. We just walked in. Oh, oh it's they, a good time. We just walked in. It made me a little nauseous, I'm not going to lie. It's because it's 3D. Yes, yes 3D exactly. glasses. It's a good time. And it's interesting because as I got here this morning, little did I know that Jeff Heimbuck would yeah, be here. Yeah, I didn't know you were going to be here either. So that was kind of crazy. Hey, man, so, were up? you in here part of the special group this morning? No, we just I was in not either. I opened the gates. Right, I'm so not that special. There's a 15 minute wait. For, what is the name of this attraction? It's right here? Uh, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Harry Bo Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Body and the Forbidden <laughs> Eye. We're going to go with that. There's a 15 minute wait, so I am going to stop eye. the vlog. And I am now going to walk through those two boars with angel wings and enter into... Good to see you. Have a good time. Let me know see you, Jeff. Jeff. Bye, everyone. Crazy that Jeff Heimbuck was out here. All right, I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Hopefully, YouTube rectifies this comment situation on the comments down below. I do not know what is going on with YouTube. I am very bewildered right now. Hopefully, you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Harry Potter area here at Universal Studios Hollywood version. That's right, Hollywood, not Florida. We here in Los Angeles now have Harry Potter is now rearing its head. All right, see you guys later.